Actor Gary Sinise has made it his mission in life to support the men and women who have served our country. In this On the Homefront report, News 8's Tim Blodgett was in North County today as Sinise's foundation gifted a military family a new home base. All right, here they come. Put your guard up, Dan Hunt. On a breezy morning in Poway, a family of six pulls up in their adaptive van to a color guard and gigantic American flag. The Stacy family. Kenton, his wife Lindsay, and their children, Logan, Mason, Annabelle, and Sadie, are about to be welcomed into their new home. This completely new house was designed for the needs of retired Chief Petty Officer Kenton Stacy. The Navy man was wounded by an IED in Syria in 2017, leaving him a quadriplegic and reliant on oxygen. A story of perseverance and determination in the face of an unsettling reality of life-changing injuries inflicted by an IED. Elizabeth Fields is the CEO of the Gary Sinise Foundation. With help from volunteers, companies, and donations, the Actors Foundation has built 71 smart homes for veterans and their families around the country. The Stacy family grateful to move out of military housing and into something new. It's very small. Uh, the hallways aren't very wide. He dings it up a lot. He hasn't been able to go up and like say goodnight to his children. They always come down and say goodnight. The house features many small details that make life easier for the Stacy family. High ceilings, open spaces, and importantly, a built-in lift and track that can easily get Officer Stacy out of his wheelchair. Ten times easier. I feel like I'm not gonna have to worry about a lot of things. The Gary Sinise Foundation couldn't have given the keys to a new home to a more deserving family. Lindsay Stacy has the round-the-clock job of taking care of four young children and a paralyzed husband. Kenton is a war hero and he's got the medals to prove it. But Lindsay is a hero herself in the Stacy family. And now they've got a forever home. We're not going to forget you. Welcome home, Kenton family. God bless and God bless the United States of America. Tim Blodgett, News 8.